You mm -hmm. are going to be a drag queen today. Get, like, okay. feel that and yes. own it and don't apologize or say that it's any less. Because when you look in the mirror, you're going to be like, oh, she's real. Okay, yeah. well, I'll be a drag queen, <laughs> goddammit. Yay, I'm <laughs> so excited. <laughs> So I'm a huge fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. My experience with drag is virtually zero. The reason that I want to do this challenge is because I'm curious what it's like to actually get in their skin to be dressed up like one of these queens. One in particular stood out. Her name is Miss Cracker, and she is known for an online YouTube series she has in which she wears drag doing everyday things. And I thought it would be really cool to have her come in and be my drag mother to show me the ropes and transform me into a temporary drag queen. She is finally here. I am joined by Ms. Cracker. Hello. Drag superstar and contestant on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, absolutely. She's excited. I started drag when it was possible to do drag without knowing about RuPaul's Drag Race. Since then, drag has become a international mainstream medium. It's on the global stage. Part of what inspired me to want to do this was you have this online series where you do everyday things in drag. So what is that like for you? Being in drag in public helps you learn to separate how you look from who you are. A tip that I give to people when they're starting out on anything is uh, empty your glass. If you have this little glass that's half full of knowledge about drag, I can't fill it up all the way with all the knowledge that I have. I don't want this to be me inauthentically co-oping what it is to be a drag queen because I'm not performing, I'm not lip syncing, I'm not dancing, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just getting the aesthetic beauty part of it. I don't want you to downplay the fact that you're trying drag as something illegitimate because you don't do it all the time. Don't think that this is not real drag. Every time you're in drag, it's real drag. So you are gonna be a drag queen today. I'm gonna use 99% alcohol to remove some of the oils from your face. Now you're gonna sweat throughout the day, so it's gonna come off nice and easy. I feel like my face just got like yep. suctioned back. <laughs> yep, my daughter's not leaving that bar without her wig. We're gonna take the glue stick, we're gonna start at the inside, and we're coating the back side of your eyebrow hairs. Don't grease your whole face with the foundation stick, just like under your eyes here on your cheekbones, and then spread it out from there. Now we have a nice contour cream. It's very telling that what we used on your face for this highlight is called Clown White. A little pyramid of contour and a contour. Oh my god, that could be my drag name. You'll know, when you look in the mirror, you'll be like, I know who she is. Now we're gonna contour your nose. We're gonna bring it down to a nice little point. There are many setting powders that you can use. This one is the cheapest and the best, just like me. Do I look like Gollum? <laughs> yeah, look out, Sasha Valora. Okay. Uh! So there, we've deleted your face, and now it's just shapes. I'm going to highlight under your eyebrow. We're gonna give your eyelid a little bit of dimension by highlighting right in the middle. I'm gonna put a wing on your eye. Okay. Do you need like a card or something for it? Do you want it? I don't need training wheels, girl. Ah, okay. I will murder you if you open your eye. If you open your eyes, look down oh, again. Sorry, I will sorry, sorry, sorry. break your legs off sorry. and beat you with them. I wanna dig around in your tear ducts with like super sticky paint and then I'm gonna powder over it with powder that's just gonna definitely roll under your eyeballs and back into your skull. I, I just, oh. yeah. I have no idea what I look like right now. Next up, mascara. It feels like almost like it's stuck on the middle of my eyelid. Yeah, it definitely is stuck in the middle of your eyelid. Your lip is moved by these little muscles and there's a little groove where the muscles connect to your lip. You're gonna draw right in that groove. Can you open your eyes? Look at that. She looks gorgeous. She looks great. I think yeah. this is the prettiest queen I've, I've, I've ever painted. Oh my god. So like the front part is over here and then we're gonna flip it back? Yep. Okay. Yeah, she's face down right now. I'm working her out from behind. Okay. Okay, we're, we're essentially done now. I'm just fucking around. We're done? Yep. Okay. This is weird because I have no idea what I look like right now, so I'm still picturing myself as like Matt the boy. Okay. Come here. Go down. And... Oh my god. Nice lady. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Big guy. Oh my god. What? Just a woman. 
What's her, what's her name? What was the one you said earlier, the first one? It was, um... Anna Contour. Anna Contour. Yeah. Anna Contour. Yeah, right is. here. <laughs> so now I'm going to go around the office and get some reactions from people. Did you have no idea who I was? No, I really did not know it was you all. Hey, Hal. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you recognize me? No, not at all. Oh, it looks wow. really good. I was like, I only knew it was you because of your voice. Really? I only heard your voice, and yeah. then you do this thing when you're like, when you laugh, you go. <laughs> oh my god, I do do that. Oh. And, just did it, and I was like, oh, that's not. That's crazy. I'm hitting the streets and going on the subway in full drag to see my friends at the bar. They don't know I'm coming, and they definitely won't be expecting my new look. I'm noticing that people are either flat out ignoring me or like gawking at me. Like, cannot believe what they are seeing. Which feels kind of nice, because nobody knows who I am. My padding's falling out. I can't fucking walk in heels. I need Miss Cracker to come back and give me a, a full lesson. It's like 40 degrees out of here, but I'm weirdly not even that cold. I think there's... Oh, thank you! I'm about to be at the bar, and I can't wait to see my friends' reactions. My friends are shook, and even though they still know it's me, it's like they're interacting with a completely different person. I head uptown to see Miss Cracker at her gig and show some support for my rock star drag mother, and to let her know how the night's going. The exhaustion is hitting, my dogs are barking from these heels and my time in drag is quickly coming to a close. First thing is this wig. Mm. Ow. Now you're gonna sweat throughout the day, so it's gonna come off nice and easy. One, two, ow! I'm gonna try some baby wipes. Oh great, all right. Oh, I need some like eye makeup remover for this. It was incredible being transformed into a drag queen by you. Thank you so much. Oh no, thank you. For me yesterday was just very exciting and I was just looking forward to your face when you saw it in the mirror. I loved it. I cannot fucking walk in heels. That's something that really can't be taught. It's just something that you figure out as you wear heels more and more. A message that I would leave to you and to anybody that wants to have a relationship with drag is make sure that it is absolutely your own relationship to drag without anybody else interfering.